The next step that we're going to work on, we've worked on stepping from side to side. We've, step, we've worked on stepping to one side for several steps and then stepping back. For this one, we're going to work on something that's very similar to what we've done all of our lives. It's very similar to walking. But the main difference is when we walk, we tend to just throw our weight from one foot to the next. And we don't really pay attention to our balance. We don't really focus on our connection to the ground. We don't really focus on a lot of what's going on in that. It's just second nature, so we just kind of throw our weight from one foot to the next, and we just kind of fall forward as we're walking. And we're just coordinated enough to catch that fall each time so that we can, you know, keep from actually falling or walking. So for this one, it's kind of the same motion, but we're going to slow it down. We're going to focus on everything that's happening in it. And we're really going to take our time with um, each of the motions and focusing on the root. Again, the most important thing as you do this, focus on that root and spend as much time on one leg as possible. Don't try to get both feet on the ground as fast as possible unless you need to to catch your balance. But in between these steps, always try to keep your feet, you know, one on the ground, one off the ground as much as possible and really work on focusing on that root so that you can really train your balance and really train your rooting um, for these steps. So the next one's a lot easier. Instead of, because we've done it lots of times, we're just changing a few little things. What you're going to do is instead of stepping from the side, you start with your feet together, you turn one foot to a 45, shift your weight to that foot, establish that root, then you're going to pick up the other foot only as high as is comfortable. You could pick it up this high, you know, just barely off the ground, or you can pick it all the way up here, whichever you want to do, whatever is most comfortable, just listen to your body. And then as it comes down, you gently touch with the heel. Same thing as the other steps, though. It's like you're testing out the ground to see if it'll support you, so you're just barely touching it. And then turn it to a 45, and you can shift your weight to it. The important thing here, make sure you maintain the concentration on that rooted leg. When we walk, we tend to throw our concentration. If we're thinking about it at all, it's always going to the foot that we're going towards. On this one, we want to keep the concentration on the foot that we're on. That's our rooted leg. So you wouldn't want to take up your root and give it to something that doesn't have anywhere to root yet. So you keep it in this leg till your front leg gently touches the ground, turn it to a 45, shift. Now before you take the weight off that back leg, you establish your root in this leg. You're a tree on this one first. And once you're there, then you can take the other foot off the ground safely, bring it up as high as is comfortable, set it down gently, touching the ground when you want to. Turn it to a 45, shift, establish that root, bring the other leg up. Okay, I'm gonna take a few steps back so you can see me do this several times. It's not a complicated move, but sometimes it's nice to be able to watch it um, be executed several times so that you can get kind of a feel of how it looks and how it should look. So, Again, starting, establish your root first. If you need to go through those breathing, that breathing exercise again, where you relax everything down and you establish your root, it's okay to start with that. If you've already done that and you're feeling good and uh, rooted, then you can just start here, turn that foot to a 45, shift your root into that leg. Pick up the other one as high as is comfortable. And your hands don't have to do anything special here. If you want to bring them up for balance, that's fine. It's not a bad idea just to leave them at the side. Bring this foot down, gently touch with the heel. You're stepping straight. Turn it to a 45, shift forward. Establish that root, pick up the other foot. Set it down, gently touch with the heel. Turn it to a 45, shift, establish that root. Once the root's established, you can pick up the other leg and then bring it down at your own pace, gently touching, turn it to the side, shift, establish the root, bring up the other leg. And it's just that a bunch of times. It might look like a very simple move, and in the actual mechanics of it, it is very simple. But make sure you maintain your focus down into that rooted leg as you're doing this. Make sure you maintain your focus on your posture, that you aren't leaning forward or leaning back as you do this. Your spine's still straight. You're rooted. If you start to let your mind wander other places, 
It may pull up your root because your mind's coming up here instead of staying down there, and it could cause you to lose your balance. So make sure you're really focused in this and that you're aware of what's going on. If I start to lose my balance and I go, whoa, what happened there? I shouldn't wonder what happened there. I should know what happened there because I was paying attention to what happened there. So if you start to come up and you feel like, oh, okay, my balance is going, then you can say, oh, well, my foot was a little rocked to the side when I started that one, or this was that way, or that was that way. And if you don't know, then it's a good indicator that you want to pay more attention to what's going on as you do these exercises, so that when you do your steps, you can start to fine tune what you're doing instead of just kind of, you know, trudging through it, not being quite sure what's happening. So that's your stepping forward. Really simple, but really important.